Hey there, today we will solve one of the problem in input merge sorted array. So, which means that uh, two sorted array will be given in the input and the number of elements in the array is also given. And uh, the first array will have uh, extra uh, space so that uh, when we will merge it, uh, num the second array elements <coughs> can also be registered inside the same. Okay, so the num num one the first array length will be equal to m plus m now to solve that uh, there are multiple approaches which you can do uh, but i'll uh, today i'll be using a uh, two pointer approach uh, so i'll use declare two pointer uh, pointer p1 which is will equal to uh, m minus one and pointer p2 uh, which will be equal to n minus one and i'll declare one index uh, which will be equal to uh, m plus n minus 1 uh, the reason of minus 1 is uh, because the uh, array starts with index 0 that's why now uh, I'll use a while loop to iterate while p2 is greater than equal to 0 now uh, the sorted array elements needs to be uh, inserted inside nums1 so I'll have if condition if uh, p1 is greater than equal to 0 and uh, nums1 p1 is equal to if the elements is equal greater than uh, nums2 p2 uh, else what we'll do so in case if it is uh, higher than in nums of index minus minus I'll store nums1 p1 minus minus so I'm inserting from the last and uh, in other case I'll uh, just use uh, nums2 uh, second array element and the uh, second pointer so every time uh, this is greater uh, from the end uh, I'll insert uh, from this array first and otherwise I'll insert from the array 2 to this index okay and I am decrementing it so from end to first it will be inserted one by one um, so let's see if this solves the problem uh, nums1 will be equal to nums1 because we are inserting inside nums1 there is no array with num yep uh, so success means it is uh, solution is correct um, so the as per the problem statement uh, we need to insert uh, uh, the sorted array uh, inside the array num1 that was the requirement uh, because uh, num1 has the length of m plus n that's why i have added it inside nums uh, nums1 if it would be nums2 uh, in the requirement then we can insert it inside nums2 and uh, these are the conditions which is given uh, you can pause the video and uh, go through it uh, there can be a condition like where uh, nums uh, n is equal to 0 or m is itself equal to 0 okay so these uh, conditions also uh, is taken care of here so I hope uh, this is helpful for the viewers and if you think uh, you have uh, any uh, query uh, you can write in the comment section and uh, yep and if you think the videos are helpful do like the video and subscribe to the channel.